Despite its age, St. Augustine is a city that keeps up with the times. With its rich history, gorgeous architecture, and laid-back beaches, America's oldest city is always a destination worth visiting. But in 2024, there are even more reasons to explore St. Augustine. Hi everyone, I'm Chad Gallivanter. You've landed on the channel with travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. On today's episode, some of the new places that have opened or opening soon in St. Augustine. What's new in 2024? The gallivanting starts now. This is our favorite new place in St. Augustine. Spinster Abbots is a taproom and bodega in Uptown San Marco, located in the former 1945 Indian River Fruit Stand. The front of the building houses the bodega where you can pick up locally sourced foods, grab and go items, household essentials, souvenirs, and even cat food. A vintage shop fills a space on the side of the building while the tap room is a funky slice of old Florida where you can choose from a regional selection of beer and wine. Behind the building is a house from 1901 with a cute apartment you can rent for the night. Anyone who's been to St. Augustine knows parking can be a challenge at times. This new paid parking lot has opened up at the corner of Grove Avenue and San Marco. It's just north of the Renaissance St. Augustine and Ripley's Believe It or Not. Drivers use a kiosk to pay. It's a good option for those of you looking to explore uptown. Feather and Bloom, one of my wife's favorites, has been operating out of this storefront on San Marco Avenue for several years. In addition to being a boutique floral studio, they also have a retail shop selling succulents and items for the home. This location plans to close in early 2024 and operations will move to a new space at 235 State Road 207, Building 4, a short drive from downtown. There will soon be a new again option to dine on the waterfront. The wharf is being constructed on the site of the former Santa Maria restaurant that was here for a long time. When it opens, the wharf will serve up burgers, salads, sandwiches, and a variety of seafood dishes. Located at 61 Spanish Street, Trailer Park offers a fun and unique menu of southern inspired dishes with a twist. Some of the more unique menu items include PB&J chicken wings and fried chicken and apple pie sandwiches. Another good one, chicken and pancake tacos. This is the second location in Northeast Florida with the concept originating in Savannah. Serving up a combination of northern and southern seafood specialties is the hallmark of DJ Clam Shack. Everything from conch fritters and coconut shrimp to Maine lobster rolls on the menu. Other Florida locations can be found in Key West and Indian Shores. The address here is 21 Hippolyta Street. Jeff, remember, these are times we call for our men. The man does his soldiers capture Nilly. At 17 King Street, across from the plaza, 
Bourbon and Boards is a restaurant and bar that offers tapas, charcuterie boards, bourbon, craft cocktails, wine, and live jazz music. They also host the monthly supper club event featuring local chefs. Fans of the popular boat drinks on St. George Street are looking forward to a new location opening up sometime in 2024. Owners have secured this property at 123 San Marco Avenue that will allow for more space and parking. Boat Drinks is known for its oyster bar and huge rum selection. Star is a free transportation service that operates downtown. It provides a circular route around the historic district, starting and ending at the Visitor Information Center. Launched mid-2023 and funded by the Florida Department of Transportation, the Star aims to enhance connectivity, ease traffic congestion, and offer a convenient mode of transportation for the downtown workforce, residents, and visitors. The Star runs daily from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. except some holidays. Passengers are allowed one complete circle and must disembark to be allowed back on the bus. That's it, a list of just some of the new things you'll find here in St. Augustine. Be sure to check them out the next time you're here. As always, thank you so much for gallivanting with me. I'm Chad, see you next time.